So this is adipocyte and when the blood flow, which is the glucose transporter into the adipose tissue, is blocked or downregulated, then the adipocyte has to rely on gluconeogenesis for G3P. So there will be a fatty acid, more acid, fatty acid breakdown. At first we know that glucose, homeostasis, glucose is the, there are many organs who sense glucose. But now what we know is not only glucose is sensed, the intermediate chemicals of glucose are also sent by these various organs and trying to orchestrate and trying to establish uh, what called glucose homeostasis. So these are the multiple organs including the brain hypothalamus involved in the glucose homeostasis state or energy utilization state. In most of the tissues, glucose is completely oxidized, but in some, they are partially oxidized, leading to lactate, pyruvate, alanine, and glutamine. These intermediate metabolites are also sensed by these various organs for this energy homeostasis. This is an example in a hypolateral hypothalamus where the sensing of glucose and lipid homeostasis stands. So regarding, so I will come to the hepatic development of hepatic steatosis. As you all know, liver is the main organ to, for lipid homeostasis. Fatty liver is nothing but just accumulation of fat in the liver. What is the cause of this fat accumulation in the liver? That is between fat acquisition and fat utilization, very simple. Fat acquisition is only two ways, through by uptake of circulating fatty acids and then by de novo lipogenesis. These are the two main things of fat acquisition. The fat utilization is by beta oxidation and export to the periphery through very low density lipoprotein. When there's an imbalance between acquisition and disposal, then there will be a accumulation of fat in the liver. And it is as simple as that. For a hepatic fat acquisition, the fatty acid, they need a special transporter. And these transporters are uh, enhanced by this Pipa Gamma family. And these fatty acids, as you all know, they are water insoluble. So to make them travel in the hepatocyte, they are binding proteins fatty acid binding proteins, which will uh, take them to the various organelles in the hepatocytes. So this fatty acid, the fate of this fatty acid can be, uh, can be stored as a triglyceride or used as a beta oxidation and used for energy or transported as a very low density lipoprotein. The de novo lipogenesis is the usage of acetyl-CoA in the body, transforming it into triglycerides for storage or for beta oxidation or transport. Regarding about the beta oxidation, so this is the mitochondrial is the organ for beta oxidation, making this fatty acid into energy. But when there's an overwhelming or there's an increased lipid available for oxidation, then these peroxisomal 
and cytochrome system sets in to oxidize the lipid. So as you all know, with these cytochromes and paroxysmal systems, the side effect is the, the presence of free radicals and reactive oxygen species causing oxidative stress and inflammation. And some of the triglycerides will be transported to the peripheral tissue via very low, very low density lipoprotein. Seafarm, caring for well-being.